Alessandro, this is not the only blue note. Can you talk about of course not. where in the world uh, one can find the blue notes and what that brand represents to you? I think there is a, a couple in, in Japan, like Tokyo and Nagoya. Uh, we are the only one in, in Europe. And there's another one I can't remember. Oh, of course, the Blue Note New York. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the brand is, is, is a, of course, a, a brand of quality and, you know, tradition. The Blue Note New York, I think, just uh, uh, at a very important anniversary this summer, they made a festival all over New York for the 30th, the opening. <laughs> and uh, we opened in 2003. Uh, of uh, course, we're very happy with the partnership uh, with Blue Note New York, uh, not only because of, of, of the brand, but because of the, all of the values that are, you know, uh, into that brand. And of course, we have the chance to them to, to have a special partnership with all the artists uh, that have, you know, a long uh, legacy with, uh, with them and now with, with us because, you know, we're a club, so we, we're open to new acts every day, but we also have a lot of acts uh, that uh, we're lucky to have here, you know, every year, every time they come back, they're happy with that, and, and people love them, uh, and that's the way it should be for, for, for a club, you know. You were a club owner before and uh, it, uh, in the marketing and promotion business yes. before. W with uh, uh, Facebook and Twitter and social media in general, how is reaching out to and communicating with and engaging customers different today than when you were first coming up in the business? Um, I think, uh, well, uh, first of all, with, new, with Blue Note, we are br brand new to social media because... Uh, you know clubs you know that there, there's always too much work to do for mm -hmm. you know how many people and how many hours you have in the day so we wanted to do that you know uh, properly so we just opened uh, very late a few months ago uh, the whole platform of uh, social profiles over Facebook Twitter YouTube and Flickr mm -hmm. and Foursquare and whatever and it's incredible how in, in a very short time we have Know, our fan base growing more than numbers. I mean, we have already have uh, you know numbers in our, our community. We have seventy thousand people who get our newsletter every week. Uh, but with the social media, it's the engagement thing mm -hmm. that you really you know appreciate. I mean, there is you know, uh, loyal fans, loyal you know customers who really want to talk to you and, and express their their view and share. And, we are trying to, uh, I mean, it's our fan page, for example, we, we talk about, we don't, we're not, you know, promoting constantly, you know, tonight's show, blah, 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 we're discussing about jazz in general. Yeah, I about, noticed that. You know, about the, the town, about when that's... Clips of other video yes, uh, yes, uh, of, of the other that's artists. very interesting. Um, of course, uh, I mean, the more we can have uh, content to share and experience to share mm -hmm. also on the internet, not only... Uh, live, the more this will, will grow and it will be a different way to, to reach our you know, fans, our friends. Yeah. So speaking of uh, real-time content to share, when we first spoke just weeks ago, you were immediately enthusiastic and got oh, the, yes. the potential of li live streaming. What does live streaming represent to you as a potential for yourself, for the artists, and for the fans? Well, the thing that really uh, I was thinking when you, when you, you know, when we met, is that uh, for maybe the past 20 years there's, there's been a lot of discussion, uh, a lot of uh, business models, a lot of you know uh, things changing and happening uh, in the relationship between internet and the music. But that is you know 100% uh, about the the music industry and the recorded music. Mm -hmm. uh, live music is totally you know 100% offline. And there's really nothing happening on the internet that regards live music. And uh, I think that's, you know, it's going to change because, of course, uh, you'll never substitute the, the, the real experience of, you know, being here tonight with the Blue Note. But uh, it's so great that you can share, you know, what's happening and the content you are enjoying with, you know, everybody all over the world. And 
it's so stupid that this is not happening that I mean I believe we are going to do something which will be very uh, interesting both for us for the, for the artist and especially for for the fans all over the world and I, I'm, I'm sure that someone in Japan will enjoy you know Billy Cobham show mm -hmm. uh, at the Blue Note Milano mm -hmm. you know maybe in the morning I don't know remember the timings mm -hmm. or whatever it's it's just great you know uh, final question I'm, we're uh, located in Half Moon Bay which is the pumpkin capital of the world if you didn't know oh. and your pumpkin ravioli is the best ravioli I've had in my life so that's fantastic tell me a little bit uh, finally about your kitchen and about uh, the relationship between great music and great food in your view that's the, the you know that's what we are I mean, we are uh, uh, with respect to the the fact that we are a music promoter and a music club and we do as I said 350 shows of the best artists all over I mean we're, we're a restaurant people come here and have great food and great uh, drinks and great wine and of course we're Italian so we love to to eat great food and to share with the uh, uh, with others and um, I of course I have no doubt that this is uh, the jazz club in the world where you eat best. <laughs> uh, let, let's close on that note because you can't do better than that. Let me just pan over here to close the interview with a uh, look at our camera, which thanks to your uh, carpentry and great staff oh, yes. is now uh, installed here at the Blue Note yeah. Milan. How? Say hello to Hal. <laughs>